The local market seems primed as some new restaurants eye Eastern Idaho for expansion. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. On Tuesday, we told you about the economic forecast for Eastern Idaho. And one thing that often mirrors economic growth is new restaurants or retail spaces. Many are on their way to the area and some have already opened their doors. Phil Campbell tells us when and where you can find the newest restaurants in the area. Few industries change as quickly and as often as the food industry. Our area seems to be a magnet for new eateries and restaurants as even when one leaves, another one is usually ready to take its place. One of the newest restaurants in the area is in Idaho Falls where Carl's Jr. has replaced the old Schlotzky's in front of the Grand Teton Mall. Carl's Jr. opened on New Year's Eve and they hope to add many more restaurants in our area in the next few years. We're planning six locations uh, in the next three or four years. Uh, we've got, um, of course, two here in Idaho Falls, that, uh, this one that just opened, one more under construction. Uh, we're looking at Pocatello, Blackfoot, and Rexburg. By the time we're done, we want to we want to cover the whole eastern part of the state. Last year, a number of restaurants entered the eastern Idaho market for the first time, and while both Chick-fil-A and Buffalo Wild Wings are rumored to expand to the lower valley, Buffalo Wild Wings says they will be in the Pocatello area by the end of the summer. We've broken ground down in Pocatello in the Chubbuck area. Uh, we hope to open at, uh, around the 1st of August. It's just off I-86, so it should be a great location for us. And it's just another stepping stone for Screaming Hot Concepts. A Pocatello tradition didn't quite work out here in Idaho Falls as Buddy's Italian restaurant was forced to close their doors late last year. But their management team says they're looking forward to opening up a new steak and seafood restaurant at this location sometime in February. We wanted to put to a, together a menu that focuses on just the steak and seafood. And um, we've got some great dishes going. You know, we've got our menu kind of put together and um, we'll be you know, practicing and cooking and perfecting everything. We want it to be very successful when we open the doors. Here in Pocatello, work could start on a new burger and brew place in as little as six months. The owner says there is definitely a need for that kind of restaurant in this part of town. There's really uh, nothing over here for burgers or anything along that line. Uh, most of it's Mexican or Chinese food, so it's something that uh, the people up here on the hill can go to and have a good uh, burger or steak or whatever they'd like. Chet already owns the structure next to his gas station and he plans on leveling it to build his restaurant later this year. Reporting in Eastern Idaho, Phil Campbell, KPVI News 6. A lot going on. We want to know what restaurants you would like to see in the area. You can vote in our online survey at kpvi.com. Send a message to those restaurants.